This is a tale set in ancient China. Feed the beast, wretch. Yes, Master Lan. Don't take all day either. The young slave girl walks into the garden and sees a dead dragon. <gasps> the slave girl reports that there is a dead dragon to Master Lan. Fetch the other man. Build a fire. Bring your bigger spots and bring me garlic and vinegar. Do as I say. Go with her, red girl. You both obey me or end up in a pickle. A pickle? Why is he making a pickle? Has he gone mad? Master Lan butchers the dragon and pickles it. The next day, the slave girl decides to treat the last remaining dragon nicely. She finds a beautiful purple stone. Just when she is about to pick it up, a voice roars in her head. Don't touch the stone! I wasn't going to touch it. Is that you, Tan Zi, speaking to me? I don't see anyone else around here. The next day, she brings Tan Zi food and milk and decides to bring him out for a walk. She is caught but manages to escape back to the garden where she releases Tan Zi. Go! The Imperial Guards are coming! Not without the stone! She runs to get the stone and Tan Zi is injured by the Dragon Hunter. They crash land at the cave where Tan Zi reveals the slave girl's true name. Tan Zi takes the bamboo carving around Ping's neck. What does it say? Your true name. Your name is Ping. We have to go on a journey to ocean. It's a magical healing place. Will you come with me? Tan Zi persuades Ping to make the trip to ocean with him. Will they make it, or will they be stopped by the obstacles to come? Read to find out.